Southern California is home to the largest community of Scientologists in the world. That's according to a church spokesperson. The church, which is famously private and protective of its inner workings, maintains its main base of operations in Hollywood. Its international base is in Riverside County. What allegedly happened inside that Scientology compound near Hemet is being called into sharp focus because of a lawsuit making its way through the courts. Debbie Cook, a former Scientology executive, is being sued for breach of contract for criticizing the church in an email after she signed an agreement promising to remain silent. Last week, she took the stand in a San Antonio courthouse and testified about what she said happened on that property near Hemet in trailers she called The Hole. It was a place called The Hole. The windows were barred. The one entrance was guarded by security 24 hours a day. Debbie Cook, under oath, and on the witness stand, testimony from a woman who was once the face of FLAG, Scientology's spiritual mecca in Clearwater, Florida. Hello, and welcome to FLAG. I'm Debbie Cook, captain of the FLAG service organization. Cook led Scientology's largest church for 17 years. I had a tremendous passion for what I did. I had a tremendous um, love for... Um, what we did every day there. Cook testified that in 2005 she was summoned by the church's top leader, David Miscavige, to Scientology's international base in Riverside County near Hemet. Cook testified that's when she learned about the whole. Mr. Miscavige briefed me about it and explained um, that, uh, that he had put about 40 executives of Scientology International into basically locked up into a room called The Hole. And he took me there um, personally and showed me. In her testimony, she said in May of 2007, she herself was sent to The Hole. Someone pried the window open of the office that I was in and two big guys came in through the window. And um, Mr. Miscavige said to me on the phone, are they there? And I said, yes, they are. And he said, goodbye. And two men physically took me uh, away to, to this trailer area, which is called the hole. Debbie Cook testified she was kept in the hole for seven weeks with other Scientology executives, a place she described as ant infested. I was put in a trash can, cold water poured over me, um, slapped. Things like that. And it would one time went on for 12 hours. Cook also testified about Scientology leader David Miscavige, saying she saw him physically strike a church executive. I um, witnessed Mr. Miscavige physically um, punching in the face and wrestling to the ground another very senior. Um, executive at Scientology International level. She testified that on another occasion Miscavige ordered his secretary to slap her. She um, slapped me so hard I fell fell over into the chairs. Um, one time he, uh, Mr. Miscavige ordered his communicator to break my finger if I didn't answer. Uh, his question. The church vehemently denies Cook's allegations, calling them outrageously false. As we predicted and feared, the defendants and their counsel have used the court's own process to make numerous gross, false, and disparaging statements. Scientology gave Cook and her husband Wayne Baumgarten each a check for $50,000 when they left the church in October of 2007. You feel what's been offered is fair and generous? Far more than fair and far more than generous. They received the checks at a meeting which took place at a Scientology compound in Florida and was videotaped by the church. There's the check. Cook and Baumgarten also each signed an 11-page confidentiality agreement in front of Scientology's top attorney, Elliot Abelson. You're doing this voluntarily? I am. No one has made any threats or, or, or forced you to do anything? Not at all whatsoever. In the confidentiality agreement, Cook and Baumgarten agreed to waive their constitutional rights to free speech, never utter a disparaging word about the church, and never disclose any information about the church, ever. Debbie Cook's attorney, Ray Jeffrey, argued the contract is unenforceable, that they signed it under duress, something the church's lawyers strenuously denied. We certainly dispute and, and believe it's totally false that they were subjected to duress and undue influence. If I had refused to sign the agreement, I wouldn't 
have been able to leave. I would have done anything, basically, at that point. You have family uh, between you and your husband who are Scientologists, and will be minimum contact. The lawsuit filed 20 days ago by the church stems from an email critical of the financial practices of the church that Debbie Cook sent on New Year's Eve to more than 3,000 Scientologists. The email soon became front page news. The church sued, saying the email violated the confidentiality agreement and asked for at least $300,000 in damages. You knew that the church uh, uh, would uh, see what you did as a violation of your agreements, right? No, I knew that the church would not be happy about what I did. I didn't see it as a violation of, of the agreement. So you have very strong, positive feelings about uh, the Church of Scientology? Very much. The church says Debbie Cook is now a bitter apostate who has an agenda to disparage and damage the church. But after the hearing, Cook said she still believes in the principles of Scientology. What we've done, we've done for the greater good for Scientology and Scientologists. This has definitely not been easy, and it's, it's taken a lot. But we know that this is, this is what's right. The hearing ended abruptly Friday morning when the church dropped its request for an injunction to prohibit Cook from speaking publicly about Scientology. But the church says it will continue its breach of contract lawsuit against Cook. The church has so far not agreed to do an on-camera interview. In a statement sent to Eyewitness News late this afternoon, the Church of Scientology said in part, Ms. Cook and her husband are simply bitter, defrocked apostates attempting to spread falsehoods for personal gain. You can see the church's full statement about Debbie Cook's testimony and the church's video of Cook signing the confidentiality agreement on our website, abc7.com.